as I was walking back with a shopping trolley, a runner ran past really fast and he clipped the wheels of the trolley and my shoulders and I fell into a hedge, just got up quick, came home. I was fine. On the Saturday, I was fine until the afternoon. Then I just got the shakes. I couldn't walk. I just trembled. I couldn't do anything. So when we use the term frailty in the healthcare setting, we're talking about loss of resilience. So it's a gradual process. It doesn't come on overnight. We can deliver really good proactive preventative frailty services in Gloucestershire without every partner in the system being involved. Um, so voluntary care, integrated community teams, community wellbeing services, GP practices, networks. The acute trust are very much involved, the homeward assessment team. Um, adult social care are pivotal in this. So it, and not one service can, or one team can do this in isolation. It has to be a partnership between all people. Now I can walk outside to the garage and back. I'm back in the kitchen baking and cooking meals and I'm nearly back to normal. There is a real opportunity with, with further integration. It can only be for the good for all patients, whether they have frailty or not. Joined up care is, is what they want. And I know from working with colleagues, there's real determination across the board um, to really make a difference to patient care. Uh, number one, there's a desire for an equity of service across the county. Currently we have lots of great services but quite a few of them are limited in terms of area. We need them uh, across the whole county, not necessarily identical services but we do need equity of access. Secondly, there's a real focus on proactive community-based care and we know for older people with frailty if we can treat them at home that's better. If we can prevent frailty that's the, the best approach approach, identifying frailty, managing frailty and then the workforce. So it's really crucial that we are joined up to provide the best care and the pe best patient experience as well. The working relationship our primary care network has had with One Gloucestershire has been able to provide a sustainable and effective mental health service that serves our population well. It's been able to reduce the mental health workload burden on our primary care staff and also provided an excellent service at the right time in the right place. I went to the GP for help initially when things got really bad for me mentally, um, things I've suffered with for a long time. Um, I was at a real crisis point. I got so low, I was having anxiety attacks without even knowing what anxiety attacks were. Um, and I was having them daily. I made myself sick. I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat. As a patient of this practice, you don't need a referral to see me as a mental health nurse. All you need to do is just phone up and you can book in to speak to me just as you can a GP. First and foremost, we're very fortunate in that we have slightly longer consultation times. One of the key things we do is work collaboratively with our patients. And any decisions that are made are made jointly. Immediately, I, I walked out there feeling like there was less weight on my shoulders. That was just the, the very first, the first 10 minutes walking home. Just felt, I don't know, lighter and lighter. Like, I, like I'd been walking the wrong way for a long time and suddenly I was walking the right way instead. What we're doing is we're treating people close to their homes, in a community that they're familiar with, in a building they're familiar with. So it's, it's much, much easier for patients to engage with us, I hope. Joined up services are the future of healthcare, where people can see the right person at the right time, have continuity of care, and are able to be empowered to manage their healthcare and have less assessments for the same problems. This will ultimately empower the individual to look after their health, will create a sustainable workforce and reduce health inequalities. I believe with continued collaboration with One Gloucestershire, we will be able to strengthen and develop our mental health service across the county throughout 2022 and beyond.
We work with partners who understand housing, and that will be our district partners and colleagues, but also the voluntary sector, um, especially with the 7Y Energy Agency. And pooling all that knowledge and skills can help us to work effectively together. What we found is that people who live in park homes are often subject to poorer health outcomes because park homes are often difficult to heat and they don't necessarily retain their heat as long because they're often not as well insulated. So this project really sought to target three main things. Firstly, uh, fuel poverty. Secondly, the project aimed to improve the health outcomes for people who live in park homes. And the third aspect was the reduction in carbon emissions, whereby people could heat their homes more effectively and thereby use less fuel. I do believe fuel poverty is going to get worse. I mean, we've seen the rise in prices. If your home is well insulated, that will cut your usage down. I mean, if you live in a damp house, you're likely to have chest problems. So anything you can do to enhance your home that will then have a benefit on your health has got to be a good thing. One Gloucestershire wants to build on the collaborative work that we've already done. And basically that is relationships, good relationships, understanding what matters um, across sectors and what matters to the people we're here to serve. So for One Gloucestershire, the future is about driving those achievements even more, working in an even closer partnership and the formation of the integrated locality partnerships will help to support that. Many of the local residents and parents had found that the road was getting very busy and they were worried that it was an accident waiting to happen. So they'd written to the council and we were lucky enough to be picked to be one of the trial schools for the Safer Street School Street Scheme. The aims of the project are to improve road safety, um, air quality and make the roads around the school a um, more pleasant environment for everyone. There's been so many times that I've seen children um, having near accidents, being hit by cars. Um, so I was very passionate about the School Street Scheme coming to this school. Um, and when I heard that it needed volunteers, I decided to get involved. It's important to get exercise so you can get stronger and fitter. Yeah, I get to meet my friends, you just have a nice little chat and walking together, just have a nice time. Oh, the children can come out of school, walk up without worrying and in the mornings can wait safely to enter the school and it gives them a really positive start and end to the day. Kids love walking and cycling to school. If you get them doing it really early, then hopefully they'll be able to continue and want to continue to do that later on. Working in partnership alongside One Gloucestershire has been really important um, to the success of this project. And I think it just shows that when we all come together, the success that we can achieve.